What's up, Louis Gang? Right now we starting this Vlizzy Vlizzy vlog in the back of the trailer, man. I'm getting low. Oh, I'm waiting to get loaded over here. Um, I'm in Ennis, Texas. I'm going to uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Um, Got to deliver there tomorrow. Hopefully they quick here, man. I've been here since 11 something. It's 11:28 right now. Been here since 11 something. But I just wanted to start this vlog off, man. You know. I got a real YouTube channel. My channel, I pretty much show y'all the ins and outs on the road. Y'all seen my ups, y'all seen my downs. Y'all see it all, man. I show it all because when I was on the road, I mean, before I got on the road, I always wanted to know what is it like out here. So I'm like, I always said, man, if I ever start doing YouTube, I'm just gonna show people what really going on. Y'all see the back end of the dots. Y'all see picking up loads. Y'all see what the warehouses look like. Y'all see where we, you know what I'm saying, going, when you gotta wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom and it's cold outside or taking a truck stop shower. Just, y'all see all of these things, man. And you know, and I know it helps a lot of people, but one of the big things that we don't really talk about as truckers on the road is our families. Like, majority of our weeks months days you spent on the road like the money's good you know what i'm saying you can you can make a great living off here especially if you sacrifice for a year or two you can you can change your life man you can change your life it definitely could change your life so with that being said i just want to talk about a real subject and it's family you know like us being on the road when we get a chance to go home and you get to see your family, you get to see your kids, you get to see your wife, you get to see your husband, you get to see your parents, your family, like, it brings us so much joy sometimes, unless you're having issues at the house, but it brings us so much joy sometimes because a lot of times we literally out here on the road by ourselves, like literally by ourselves, man. And that's the, the down part of being a truck driver. You by yourself a lot of time. So when you come home, it's like, man, first of all, you can't wait to get in your big ass bed if you got one. You can't wait to sit in the bathtub if you do. You can't wait to be able to get up and go walk to the refrigerator <laughs> or walk out your door and don't see a bunch of trucks. You know what I'm saying? It's just a bunch of joys that we, that we, get, we miss out on on a regular basis that people who are actually at home get to see but in my situation right now um i did a stupid prank and it was immature it was disgusting um thought it was funny uh, i thought it was just gonna be like one of those things where it was like dang you pranked me that was nasty that was a crazy prank i can't believe you got me like that but I got you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you back. You know what I'm saying? Or one of those things where it's like, man, that was wacky you. I don't ever do that dumb stuff no more. But to lose your family over prank is, it's a hard pill to swallow, man. Because it's like, once you start dating and you're in a relationship, or you married or, or all that. You get used to having that person that you can count on, that you can spend time with. You get used to being able to come home to that person and they being the joy and the smile, the comfort you need from the stresses of everyday life on the road. Or when you getting off at night or whenever, when you are here on the road and you can FaceTime them and just see whoever's on the other side of the screen your kids your wife your girlfriend your husband your mom your dad whatever like you get to see them but when it's like when y'all going through something 
whoever it is. And you can't just pick up the phone and call them. You can't just tell them you love them, you miss them. And you just in a truck working, idle mind, and you just thinking like, dang, I wonder what's going on at home. I wonder what they doing here. I wonder what they doing there. It's a lot on you, man. It's a lot. That's why truck driving is, it's the worst for relationships, man. It's the worst for your health. It's the worst for relationships. It's a lot of, it's a lot of pros. Money is the biggest pro. Um, traveling is a big pro. Um, consistent money every week, getting paid every week is a big pro. But it, it's a lot of cons to this truck and stuff, man. And it's hard to find a good woman or for some, if you like men, it's hard for y'all to find a good man while you on a road in a truck. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. But when you do find that one, you gotta do everything you possibly can, man, to, to just cherish that and make it right and build a strong foundation, man, that can't nobody tear down. Because at the end of the day, you're going to always have people in your ear telling you this, telling you that. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't accept this. I wouldn't accept that. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times we forget to look in the mirror at ourselves, you know? And I always try to pride myself on if I'm dating in a relationship with a woman, trying to do the best I can, man, to build a solid foundation to let them know. There's no reason to be insecure. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here working. I miss you just as much as you miss me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no, ain't no you miss me more or none of that. Like, I'm literally out here by myself. We saying the same things. Just open roads, truck stops, and maybe, you know what I'm saying? Me, I like to do stuff on the road just to, you know what I'm saying, get out my truck and all that. But we pretty much saying the same thing over and over and over again. But. It's hard to have a relationship and a family, man, because a lot of women cannot handle this lifestyle with us. And I'm not, I don't really know about the women truck drivers who date men or whatever. I don't know how that works for them, but it's hard, man. It's hard to have relationships on the road because if something goes wrong at home, it's hard to fix it. Because you, you literally on the road, you hundreds and thousands of miles away from your family. So, all you can do is try to talk about it over the phone to fix it, or text and try to fix it, or send them flowers, or send them gifts, or, you know what I'm saying? Do whatever you possibly can to make it right, but it's hard, because normal people, you could just pull up, have a conversation. You could take them on a date. You could do all these kind of things to try to make it right, but, you a truck driver it's like man if they block your number where you can't call them or text them you pretty much you screwed in a lot of ways you screwed and that's one of the hurtful things about being over the road is when somebody blocks you or you can't talk to them or they ignoring you or they don't want to hear from you it's hard because it's like I'm so used to you, me, us, we, then all of a sudden, all that's taken from me, and you there with your family, you there with your friends, and all we got is our phone, you know? And, and, it, and it sucks, man. It sucks. So I say, man, it, it takes a strong person today to truck drive, man, because like nobody in life is perfect. You know what I'm saying? We all gonna make mistakes. We all gonna F up. But if you got a solid foundation, if the love is there, if you know a person's intentions, their motives, if you know all of these things, man. Oh. That's the train over there. The train about to go. But yeah, like I was saying, man, if you know Man, just if you dating a truck driver, man, you dating the average person, all I'm gonna say is build a strong foundation, man. 
build a strong foundation. Always think about the the what ifs. What if this, what if that. Um, always have your however. They did this, they did that, however, they amazing to me. They love me, they show me, you know what I'm saying, so much support, they, Hey, is he, he got a mo control? Hold on. He doing that with a mo control. Ain't nobody even in there driving it. That man is literally doing that with a mo control. Yeah, I see that. It's a mo control driving the train. That's hella dope. Look at it, yeah. Okay, this loud, so I know I don't think y'all can hear me. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. But this vlog was basically just a sit down. This was basically we gonna call this trailer talk. <laughs> trailer talk with TV. This is basically trailer talk with TV, man. Uh, hope y'all getting a little perspective of what it's like to be with a truck drive or whatever on the road. So I'll see y'all.